What is going on everybody? Doki989 here along with the members of the AgroCraft server, including Hollister, Death Snipes, Who Shoot You, and me, of course. Um, so right now we're in the spawn right here uh, with Hollister. This is where you will spawn when you join the server. You can spawn somewhere in this vicinity, um, usually in this area. I actually spawned outside around, I think here once, um, first time I joined. But this is the uh, you know, entrance, make sure you have a job, uh, all good stuff. So uh, here it is, this is the um, spawn area, you got your stuff in those chests back there. Um, you look at these questions, you have super starting pits, look behind you, they're back there. Keep going this way. Uh, we need to update these uh, signs, so that's why it's, we've been working on a lot of other stuff. So uh, get a job, uh, you can find all that information on the other agrocraft video I made, um, which I will put in an annotation, or you can also uh, look at the Google Docs file that me and Casey made. I will have a link to that in the description below. That tells you all about the server, tells you about the jobs, what we do, what it is, and etc. like that. So, this is uh, the uh, main town. As you can see, we've been uh, working on this a lot. We've got a lot of different flags of where different people live. We got people from Argentina, Italy, US, um, New Zealand, England, uh, Germany, Austria. I think that's it right now. Uh, there might Japan. be more that I'm not aware of too. So let's US. <laughs> so here, here is the bank made by XTA Death Snipes. We had a bank here before, but it wasn't that great, and uh, so we kind of redid it and made back this. So what you do is, uh, we have a paper currency here, so everything that you buy and sell is used with paper. You can also barter as well, but paper is more preferred. Uh, you can keep your paper and your valuable items in here. We got uh, a lot of different security, like under here we got bedrock around it. Each uh, individual cell has bedrock around it, so there is absolutely no way that you can mine through it and get in here. It means it's absolutely completely thief proof. So when you want to deposit, you just put it in here. The water moves the paper into where the a banker will pick it up and put it into your cell. Uh, right now we have these buttons here that people can come in. Uh, the banker will have armor and swords available, so if anyone tries to attack, there's fruit. So, let's go down into the cells and give you a sneak peek of what they kind of look like. Uh, each of these cells is owned by an individual person. Let's just open up this one here. This is what it'll look like. You got the light, you got the stuff in here. So, uh, let's get back out. <laughs> oh my god. Got it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so, um, the uh, name of the kitties, so you know, you know, this is what his stuff is. That's how much paper he has. You keep your diamonds and stuff that you feel um, would be safer here than in your house that you make. Now, the server is played on easy on survival, so as you can see, we're in creative right now, just kind of right. fixing up some stuff. Um, you have to hit the button again. and then. Oh, oh boy. Uh, 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 Alright, okay. So, and this is where the paper go, and you get it out. So, um, let's go back to the Whoa. So, you can just kind of get an idea. This is a really nice looking thing, though. So I really got to get it. He's spent all last night working yeah, on it, right? Maybe two hours. Two hours, yeah. And what's this flag behind it? This no, is that's a sincere. Nah, my flag is up here. What's this fatal flag again? That's another one of his creations. Oh. We have a bunch of different flags that we put up last night. We're like, let's go, let's go make some While they were doing that, I was voting up here. USA, Japan, Germany. Don't know what that one is. Don't know what that one is. Don't know what that one is. Nothing with my flags. Um, and there's no. Uh, I mean, no. I mean, these two. Don't know that one. Don't know that so, one. So let's go to the bakery, and then we'll go over to the residential area. The bakery was made by me and Casey today. We found a, a template of a bakery on uh, Planet Minecraft, and we kind of based it off of it. Uh, so if you look and you find something similar to it, yeah, we kind of copied it, but Copyright. we really made it our own in the end. We kind of had the idea. Yeah, we had the idea, but we changed it to suit our needs. Uh, so. Kind of walk in again and get the water thing going that you can kind of get the money from there, goes under safely to the shopkeeper, and then they give you the change. 
So uh, up here is where you can eat, sit down, kind of talk, you know, just kind of make it more realistic. Then back here we have you throw money in the water decision. and it magically disappears, traveling three blocks, and you seriously have something wrong with you. Yeah, exactly. There is no. So, so if you come in here and pay the guy and so say unrealistic. that you paid him everything, then some might have fallen out. Then yeah, you're lying. Uh, speaking of lying and griefing and stealing, we have uh, a lot of security when it comes to this town. Up here we have a, um, kind of like if someone's robbing the bank, we can, uh, Shoot kind of, you know, I'll put get them trapped inside there. So, uh, you press the button here, let me go down here. So look what happens when you try and shoot it. Uh, when you press the button up there. A uh, bunch of arrows come down and just kind of Terrorize your ass. completely wreck this area. Did you press the button? Probably already did. Yeah, I pressed it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't see any. I already, I already pressed it. I don't see any. Sometimes you gotta press it a couple times. Make sure that yeah, the right side actually works. Try it. Uh. Oh, there we go, yeah. So you see a bunch of fire arrows just come pouring down all over the place. Um, if you press that button, yeah, each, there's like 24 dispensers in there. We also have helicopters over here. Uh, we're gonna make a third one. We just finished up the second one that uh, also shoot arrows. Uh, uh, Casey's the only one that's gonna be able to like, m like operate these because they're in the air, and the host is allowed to fly in survival mode. So you just kind of press these buttons and they shoot arrows at the bakery. So, um, yeah, there's some right there. Uh, I see a couple over there. They also shoot at the uh, bank as well. So. And then we also have security guards. We got a watchtower up here, kind of just watching over everybody. That's where I got the idea. Like, I just wanted to put an American flag over the watchtower because it was like superiority and like power. I don't know. It looked kind of cool. We were gonna make a like a shield of like the town, but um, decided to put the flag there. Um, and everyone started putting flags. I was like, yeah, this is pretty cool. So up here, I'm gonna put an F-16 fighter jet, like right above the walkway and the trees right here. Let's say like right here. And if anything gets stolen or anything, or like if there's like a super griefer, we just drop TNT. Just a row of TNT just comes falling down and it looks like a just like a napalm strike or air strike and just blows up everything. It won't blow up the buildings, it'll just blow up the uh, grass and the trees, which is easily fixable. So, uh, next building we got is uh, this one, which is the armor and tool shop, which is owned Who by. Shoots Who shoots you? He is going to be the uh, server like host uh, during weekdays, a friend of Hollister from school. So, arrows are not out of stock at the moment. So, again, we got the water thing there, you can buy stuff, you can't get past here unless you can fly. Um, it's more. Just stuff down there. I don't want to invade your privacy. And more uh, stuff over here. But yeah, I really like this uh, building though. I like how you incorporated the cobblestone, the dark wood, and the tiles. It came out very nice. Um, then over here, we got a bunch of different like, houses that people live in or renting. I'm sure some of them are renting, some of them are. Uh, uh, owned by, but it kind of has that like village, kind of the, the, the uh, houses built upon each other. That's what we kind of wanted it to be. Got like these smaller rooms, and we go back to here, with this and that, and this They're connected. They're all weaved together. It might look very disorganized outside, but it's pretty organized. We got a farm over here, more stuff, you know. Kind of give it like more of a village RPG medieval kind of look to it. Even though we have these really cool banks and stuff, we also want to kind of remember that it's an RPG uh, server. Uh, so we keep going down here. Now other people, these are other people's houses down here. Uh, this one, I uh, don't know who made, like, Optic made it. Sign on the side of it. Optic, Optic, mm -hmm. uh, Optic Styles, yeah. Uh, opt, opt, optic Styles, or Optic Op, whatever his name is, made this house. Um, Again, these people have to get the materials to build their houses, so it's not a great one. Again, you start out with some supplies and some stone stuff, and then you gotta work your way up. Uh, we don't have a system of buying land. Maybe mostly people are just kind of like picking land that they can build a house on, but uh, 
once we get more people and it starts kind of filling up, we're going to have uh, little plots of land that people can buy and purchase and rent, and get people to buy them, and then be the landowner. I don't know, like, kind of like that. It's kind of making it more realistic. Uh, over here, we got a uh, for sale sign, this house over here. Uh, pretty plain, no uh, sort of a glass structure, glass incorporated into the structure. That's something interesting. Basement down here. Uh, lime wool, wonder where I got that from. Uh, so then we keep going. Oh, wait, I want to show you guys the train station made by Casey. I really like this train station, it's very realistic. It kind of gives it like an old approach to it with the uh, cracked stone bricks. Um, it doesn't go far yet, but you're going to end up paying for it. <laughs> you pay it, you get open. That's broken. But you won't open it. it. It's broken right now, so. It was working the last time I checked it out, which was like 20 minutes ago, but um, that's okay. It's still a work in progress. I don't know if anyone's going to pay paper to go from there to here right now, so it's not done yet. Uh, so. Right over here, we have another house. Uh, I forgot the guy here. <laughs> we need to get people to uh, put the names of the stuff that they made. I think it might be a. Uh, no, darn sure that's the there. Never mind. Um, over here we got a jail that uh, that snitch is working on right now. He's finishing it up. Uh, this is a really cool jail. I want to show you guys this. Uh, we walk in. The inside, the first floor is not done yet because he's mostly working on the uh, bottom floor. Right now we go in here. Go in here. We got the doors that kind of like do stuff in the distance. We got the cellars down here. I think there's a total of eight cellars here. There's out. eight, I'm just letting Real you know, estate. I did not plan that out, oh. it just came out like that, so... <laughs> if, if there's uh, actually eight, I didn't even plan that out. There are eight. <laughs> so I guess we're all going to Yeah, <laughs> Hollis is going to lock himself up. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of funny, my phone is ringing right now, and how ironic that every time I record... Or the doorbell rings. rings. I think my brother picked it up. Or the doorbell rings. I think in my first world tour video, door bell rang like four rain. times. You're like, oh, I think somebody's at the door. Oh, I think somebody's <laughs> at the door. They were like five <laughs> minutes apart through like the entire video. Because usually when I record, no one's usually home. But my brother's home right now, getting ready for soccer game. Uh, blah, blah, blah. where was I? So here, some other table. buildings. Um, this looks like some type of big casino. You know, kind of getting a bunch of different uh stuff and making it into a town. This is one town. Um, we, me and Casey were discussing about like how you can actually have like create a town. Yeah. Um, correct. That's okay. Alright. Want maybe to leave Uh, So you guys can enjoy this lovely telephone music. Music. music? Telephone music or telephone uh, ringing. <laughs> Sorry about that wait guys, uh, I sped it up for all of you lovely ladies. Um, 
So that really concludes Finish what we um, are kind of doing right now. Um, again, this is kind of what the uh, server looks like right as of now. It's like Sunday at like one o'clock. Uh, we're gonna open it up. Sorry if you guys weren't able to join. We're kind of creative mode, kind of, you know, making it better. It's a lot better than it was yesterday. We have some pictures of what it looked like on the first day that we opened it up, and uh, yeah. Then we got some houses that are kind of just like spread out over here, kind of more further away. Right over here, you see this island right here. I'm building a. I'm gonna start building another town. It's gonna be like a community village. It's not gonna be like with the flags and everything. But on this island right here, I might put a boat. You know. Uh, make it kind of like a Newportania style house, or like village. Um, that'll be my town. People can have stores there. It's gonna be more of a medieval thing. While this server, or the town over here, is more of like a free structured, like modern. You know what I mean? So um, it's like more like whatever the hell you want. So uh, thank you guys so much. Hey Doki, follow me really quick. <laughs> follow me really yeah, quick. so. Do you see me? Watch. Uh, look what I yes. saw while I was, uh, flying around. No. Cactus? What's that? Cactus? <laughs> <laughs> What's that? I have no idea. What do you mean? Wait, what is it? You never know what you're what gonna find on the screen. It's a penis. It's a penis. It's a giant penis. It's a wooden penis. So, and then over here we got some other houses, and uh, yeah, that's really it. Including this now, because I think you got my dad's brown horse. I'm like, wait. I love Take chocolate. Care, guys.